In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the second of three exercises in working with the Theme Designer. If you haven't done anything with the Magic Movie Wizard, you need to understand that a bit to follow what we're going to do. And we have an exercise called Step Through the Magic Movie Wizard. I'd like to suggest you look at that first, if you would, please. And then we did a previous exercise to show you how to start understanding the theme designer. The shortcut is, in order to get to the theme designer, you have to launch the Magic Movie Wizard and get to step number four, which is Preview. And then instead of clicking on the Next button, you click on the Edit in the Theme Designer. And I'm going to select that right now. And again, what we have in the Theme Designer, we have uh, two tabs on the left. One is Media, one is Effects. And the Media contains everything in my Media Room. And I can import more by clicking on this button if I want to add either a clip or a picture uh, to my Media. And we also looked at the last lesson of how each of these blocks is a segment in this particular theme. And each of the numbers up here is represented by an image or a movie. And that's how you can change and design different components of your, of your finished product. If I right click on any of these, I can remove it and it's replaced by the number in this blue area only. For example, uh, right now number one is vacant, but if I click over here in this one, number one is my ducks. And here number two is a beach scene. I right click and I can remove it. But over here, number two is something different. So each of these is independent of the other in terms of what what uh, item is linked to which number. And again, to, to see in any single segment what, what's going on, you can click the play button. And this will show what I have for number one. Or if I don't want to do that, I can e use the slider and I can scrub through the item. And you notice you have keyframes. Now, these are, aren't like other keyframes. They are pre-programmed and there is are only a few things that you can do with them. But let me show you what small modifications you can make. Here I have an image and in this one I have three things that I can change. It has an, an audio track so I can mute that if I want to. It has a scissors so I can trim it if I want to. I'll click on that and it pops up this screen here. So what I can do is I can take this and I can move my in point and my out point to wherever I want. But notice, I can't make it any shorter than this distance because the wizard says I need this amount of time on the screen. So I'm limited, but I can make some adjustments. The original duration was 9 seconds, 13 frames. I was able to shrink it down to 7 and 25 frames. And uh, uh, I mean, here's my in position. Here's the new duration. But if I stretch this, uh, you'll see the numbers change in the out position. And this is my total length down here. So I'll click on OK. So now I was able to change that. What that actually did is that moved the keyframe for this particular area is closer together. The other thing I can do is apply a zoom to it. If I click on it, it will turn from black to blue. And now when I scrub over it, it'll get to that section and now it will zoom in and out. And before it did not do that. I'll turn it off. There, now it's back to normal. And if I do this here, it's stable. It doesn't move in or out. And it depends upon how that was programmed to, de to determine what you can do in each individual picture. This one allows me to do nothing. This one nothing. This one, I can't zoom it. 
but I can turn the sound on or off and I can change the duration of the clip. So all these are controlled by the programming behind the theme that you picked. Now you can reorder these sequences uh, and you can reassign different pictures to different numbers in each sequence. You also have this checkbox continue from the last clip in the previous sequence. If I uncheck that, up here this one is empty. If I check it now, it's the same clip that was at sequence number one, but number two ended with nothing. Let me put a baseball in number two, go back to sequence three, and again it continued the baseball. If you want to play the entire movie, you can click on uh, uh, this item here, and that will show everything in order. And again, if you get to some of these components here, like this one we have it at this place, this one also allows for a title. And this is where you can change the actual text in the title. And a subtitle. And there are some in certain sequences that allow you to change the background. And... Uh, I don't have any there. Uh, this theme may not have any for backgrounds. Now there's one other thing that you can do. You can actually import other blue boxes, if I can call them that, other components from other themes into this theme. I'm going to show you how to do that as we end this section and then begin our third tutorial.